you guys pro here and here's an update on my game and this is actually like really good in my opinion like I actually like playing it like I've been playing it for the past past like five ten minutes I built as you can see a little house and uh I built a little factory and uh yeah so it's like weird though because like these little um this well, these four circles <laughs> those are supposed to be a window i don't know it's, it's kind of bad but it's my little housey house this uh this little piece right here that was a table or something i don't know i decorated it might be a light and then you can see the smokestacks on top and, uh but yeah besides that i guess i'm gonna do a little overview of my game and um for one you I don't want to clear the screen. Okay, I won't clear the screen. But, um, you start off, uh, just, like, right up here. And, um, you also have to have the terminal on full screen. Otherwise, it'll look kind of funny, the blue. Because I had to, the blue is all a bunch of spaces. I actually, by the way, I added in these circles on the side. It's right next to my cursor. But all the blue is spaces. So... You, it's um, weird if you don't do it in full screen. Just a little tip. And um, the way it works is right now, I there's only creative mode right now, which I mean is that I might add like a survival mode in a way where you can um, turn it into where you can't play some break blocks and uh, or circles, I guess. But the way it works is right now you press circle to place a block or thing and you can place a bunch of them and go up and it places on your cursor and then your cursor moves to the right so I'm gonna make a little box here and if you um uh like get stuck in this there's two ways to get out you can either delete a block by pressing d which it's really buggy right now the delete box see i, I got it to delete you press D and it should delete it. it sh it's supposed to delete the one right above you, but it doesn't always work as you can see. It's I guess it's just the way C++ works or something, the timing. It'll send it on a different spot, but whatever. The other way you can do it, which is I usually use if uh, I get stuck in a block. It's a glitch. I'll show you what happens when you get in the glitch in a second. But you can press R to reset. And, uh, I'm just gonna delete this real quick. Try to delete the whole thing. Delete. 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 Just kind of random. Uh. Oh, there we go. I, sometimes it deletes it from the side. I mean, who knows? There we go. Alright. So... Uh, the glitch when you get stuck in a block, I'll reenact it right here. And, um, basically it's if I were to place these two pieces, and now if I build, it puts me back there, and I'm stuck in a block and I can't get out. Uh, my cursor is gone. And, um, one weird thing is you can't just press R, you, because the way it times, I guess, with the, uh, loop, it's kind of fast or something so you have to hold down the R button and then you'll respawn up at the top that's the only way to get out of that and um also when you're deleting like this it should work just perfectly fine but if you're deleting odd places then it won't work right so um, that's about it for the game itself it's actually pretty amusing and amusing is what I mean and um well, one more command. I'm kind of scared to do this because there's no save function yet. But if you press Q, it ends the game. And that was going to happen at some point. So it's not that, all that bad. And um, the game itself, come on, it is right here. And, uh,. I'll have a download for it, of course, and it's got a bunch of descriptions, and, um, it's a lot like the last one, I think. 
I could be really wrong. It might have changed that. Yeah, it's still got all the moving in here. Um, for the for the um, walls, I have uh, char wall equals inch. And um, what the inch does is it gets it'll sense for a variable on the screen, whatever your cursor is hovering over. And down here, I've if wall equals circle um which is by that it's if your cursor if you move onto a wall piece it will move you back to your coordinates you're at before because um it doesn't move you into the wall piece and that reason is because i didn't use get y x before it so it only has its last updated one and then it refreshes to, you know push you back and um get zero of course i still don't get exactly what it means i know it has something to do with your input to like receive it or something and then uh, here's the other things o is the print o and then refresh uh the deletion process is still kind of buggy as you saw it's probably the best I could get it, but I think it's interfering with the way the wall works. And um, but I mean I'm not changing the way the wall works; that'll screw up the whole thing. But um, this is how the deletion process goes, and it actually doesn't delete; it inserts a space because when I delete it, um, it deletes one of the spaces too along with it, and doesn't add a new one in. And the problem with that is that the lines start getting all weird when you start deleting stuff and then um ch equals equals o that's that's when you press uh when you place a barrier and ch equals o when you press o um it prints an o and it refreshes and that o like kind of in a way instantly turns into that wall so you, if you get on it it'll just push you back it, it doesn't really show you when you get on the wall because it's so fast but and then uh here's the keys of course uh just like normal i don't think i added anything at all and all this is exactly the same as last version except for i added this thing which adds the character wall inch stuff and then uh, the loop then the background here's what i meant by the big blue spot I had to have all the spaces, so it's a bunch of spaces and then slash ends to go down. And then, uh, Atron, this is, of course, the colors again. The color pair, this is the color pair. And it's, I changed it to red and cyan. Cyan is what the, uh, spaces are, slash background. And the red is what the, um, like circles are and your cursor and then these are just some things of course like last time keypad letting us use the well the up and down arrows and left and right uh, no delay well, what's it doing oh, I don't want to move that that was weird never had that hint before the no delays uh, I can't remember exactly what it does but it, it does something important no echo is to keep it from you be able to just type in stuff start underscore underscore color is uh says we can have color initiating screen um into your main of course um then little instructions up here for anybody who wants to play it i actually do recommend playing it. i really do like this game and it, it's actually fun and you know it's kind of like I don't want to say it, but it's kind of like Minecraft. It's, I think it's a sandbox game, kind of. You can just build freely. It's kind of cool, you know? If, if, you, if you like stuff like this, if you want to look at it for reference, it's also written in... Um, uh, in curses, so or just curses it's technically the package files are that you have to have are called in curses 
So it's literally got like almost nothing that has to do with regular C++, sadly. But for some reason it won't let me compile it if I do use stuff like Kout and I put in the, uh, the uh, STD, no, it was, um, iOS stream or IO stream. If I put in that include or header, it doesn't work for some reason. So, um, yeah, I'll have this up for download. And anybody who wants to check it out, use it for reference. I max it out with all these notes. Um, yeah, I hope you like this video. I'm GoPro, and peace.